it has been an unsettling day to say the very least, and for some the situation may only get worse as officials have confirmed multiple structures and homes were lost in this fire. Our Sam Kramer, he's been on the fire line all day. You spoke with some of those homeowners today, obviously just devastated by this. Yeah, Rob Elizabeth, as you could imagine, the people we spoke with said today was that equivalent to a nightmare from the flames to the rapid evacuations. Today was just a very fast paced emergency. For some, the situation might only get worse. It's like a war zone. It's like a war zone. Trucks, sheriff, fire department, everyone flying up and down the road, back and forth, helicopters, everything. Michael Koss is one of the hundreds of people forced to evacuate Friday as flames from the Carson Midway fire seared through any and all fuels threatening his home. It was fast paced. You had deputies pounding on the door louder than I've ever heard anyone knocking on a door saying you got to get out now. It jumped the street. You got to leave now. He grabbed his important documents, things and left. For others, the process wasn't as smooth. Her house has been burnt to the ground. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, Mark. I'm so sorry. Some people like Deanna Ely were gone at work when the fire began. Her husband was still at home, but she couldn't get through. And it's all like this. And I asked that cop over there if, if he'll let me back. And he said, no, he said they're evacuating everybody. I haven't seen my husband yet and I'm starting to freak out. In the fire's early stages, families frantically asked firefighters about their missing loved ones. She's not sure that she's there. Maybe somebody take it there. We'll check. Thank you. Yep. Before our cameras. She's in here. Both of them are in here. Some people heard the good news. He got a hold of Mike. <laughs> Who did? You got a hold of Mike? Okay, so he might be okay. Thank you guys. I love you. A brief moment of relief as many wonder whether their homes are still standing. Wondering if the house is still going to be there. Wondering if people we know, if their houses are still going to be there. Mm -hmm. You know, just, just that nerve of uncertainty. Now we should note Deanna's husband, Mike, was found safe and sound at a nearby evacuation site. But really, that wave of uncertainty still looms among those that are evacuated. They're waiting anxiously to get back to their situations and see it for themselves. Always watching out for you, El Paso County. Sam Kramer, News 5. A little bit of joy and all the sadness mm -hmm. we saw today, so at least we have that glimmer. With